Chantel Cornelius makes sure her son gets plenty of milk every day. He takes about, I say, five bottles, about six ounces each. But when it comes to vitamin D, he still may not be getting enough. The American Academy of Pediatrics has now doubled the recommended daily intake of vitamin D for infants and children to prevent rickets and other diseases that weaken bones. A baby may not be able to walk or have bow legs, uh, weak bones, um, higher chance of developing or having a fracture from this. In addition to strengthening bones, evidence also suggests vitamin D could reduce the risk of cancer, diabetes, and even heart disease. Doctors say more children are suffering from a vitamin D deficiency, partly because they spend less time in the sun. Because of the cancer scare, a lot of parents are not taking their kids out for uh, any exposure to sunlight at all. Besides sunlight, milk is the most common source of vitamin D, but most kids don't drink the required four to six cups every day. That means millions of children will need to take vitamin D supplements, which also come in chewable tablets and drops for younger children. For infants, baby formula is fortified with vitamin D, but pediatricians recommend breastfeeding for at least a year. A mother actually has to drink a lot of milk to be able to give enough uh, uh, vitamin D in her breast milk. Another good source of vitamin D for children, eating fish. But parents know that could be an even harder pill to swallow. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston.